and it's can't hard to believe bill that we are what two weeks away from Thanksgiving, but November's starting to feel like November is going to get us in the mood for the holidays. Yeah, especially by uh, Friday. It's definitely going to feel like November, even December, dare I say, with some <laughs> snow showers scattered about. But uh, look at the uh, month so far after our cool start. We've had seven days in a row now with an above average high temperature in the cross, including the last two days in the upper 50. So even with the cloud cover today, we still managed 58 for the high. Streets are starting to get a little wet. We've had some light rain thus far here in the cross but plenty more where that came from. Uh, 58 the high today, 31 the low. So uh, about 9 degrees above average and uh, 69 was the record high set just five years ago. Sunrise time tomorrow morning at 655. 53 with some light rain out at the airport. Uh, winds have been rather uh, blustery from the southeast at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Pressures falling rapidly in the Mississippi rising 5.31 feet. Now the coldest air is still well to our north and or west. It's really not going to arrive, arrive in earnest around here until late tomorrow and especially into tomorrow night. But until then, uh, still pretty mild. In fact, temperatures right now in the mid 40s to lower 50s and they're going to kind of remain steady or even rise a few degrees overnight uh, in advance of this cold front and low pressure system uh, bringing the rain tonight. And again, southeast wind sustained at 10 to 20 for many and gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour in some spots, even 40 mile per hour gusts up towards the uh, Twin Cities. So rain, if it's not raining where you're at yet, it's about too soon as this rain continues to move in from the south and west. And there's even some lightning being detected at times over southeastern Minnesota and northeastern Iowa. So don't be shocked if you see a flash of lightning or hear a rumble of thunder. And you can see that rain all the way uh, back towards Omaha, Nebraska. And as this low and frontal boundary crosses the area tonight, we're going to be in and out of that rain overnight and even through about mid morning of tomorrow. So sky tracker showing the periods of rain tonight. You can see that front comes through where the winds converge uh, tomorrow morning. And then the rain tapers around probably 10 o'clock or so in the lacrosse area, but we'll hang on to mostly cloudy conditions through the day, maybe even a few spits and sprinkles uh, during the afternoon. And then tomorrow night, that cold air wraps in along with a little bit of moisture. So we could see some snow showers overnight and into the day on Friday. Right now, snow accumulations look pretty minimal, maybe a half an inch or less in some spots. Best chances to the north and west, but we'll fine tune that forecast for snow uh, over the next 12 to 24 hours. Now, rainfall could approach an inch or more in spots, so a good soaking rain across the region through tomorrow morning. Uh, not all bad news. It's been quite dry around the region over the past several weeks. High temperatures tomorrow will be set in the morning, upper 40s, mid to upper 40s to near 50 for most and then expect temperatures to gradually fall uh, through the day. In fact, areas to the north and west uh, will see temperatures only in the mid 40s uh, for afternoon highs. So for tonight, periods of rain and windy again some isolated rumbles of thunder. 46 for the low 49 tomorrow morning, but temperatures slowly drop through the day. Uh, windy conditions as well with that rain tapering around 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning and then check out the high temperatures Friday through Monday only in the upper 30s. Again, that wraparound snow shower activity Thursday night into Friday. Another little system could provide some snow showers Saturday night into Sunday and then breezy and a little bit warmer though next Tuesday and Wednesday upper 40s to around 50 degrees but dropping again next Thursday with highs around 40. So uh, dare I say uh, boy 60s and 70s may be done oh boy. until next spring. I, I feel like we lucked out that they stuck around for a lot yeah, longer. Yeah we, we had a very nice fall yeah. so for sure. All right thanks Bill. Okay.